Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Shell. Lisa. Blue Mountain Cottage, what fun name. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you doing? I hope okay in the midst of all this craziness it's nice to have this normal thing and i honestly am loving this um nine o'clock time because i've already gotten a lot done today hi wednesday wendy <laughs> wednesday wednesday you can tell hey from Sh charleston how's it going in charleston it's really interesting to see how this crazy disease is <clears throat> spreading um is everybody on lockdown? Is there anybody who's not? Gosh. Um, okay. Hold on a second. Do you need me? I do not. I'm okay. Just putting this down here. Is that All okay? right. Yeah. Hi, Sam. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Allie. How are you? Hi, Ellen. So I'm going to do flowers today. But I'm going to play, I'm going to try, I, I don't usually do like the underpainting with the um, burnt sienna. And I'm going to try that this time just for something fun to mix it up. And um, Okay, so let me turn it around. So I took this on my walk. We can still go for walks where I live here. So I'm trying to do that every day to get fresh air. <laughs> Mike and Anita said hi. Um... So these, I don't, I can't even remember what these flowers are. Does anybody know? They look like azaleas, but I don't think it was an azalea bush. Things are just starting to bloom. Hi, Kristen. So I'm going to try this out of the way. And I'm going to try the putting the wash of the, of the burnt sienna underneath. We'll see how this goes. Good morning, Dawn. Hi, Sandy. All right, I need a... Oh, is it crab apple? Oh, it might be a crab apple tree. I only remember, like, crab apple trees. Where I go to Mulberry Farm, they have crab apple trees, but I only notice them when they have the apples on, not when they have flowers. It's really pretty. All right, so I'm going to do a wash, and this is, um, fortunately, because I've used to buy such random paints. I have most every color here somewhere. And this is, uh, I get this, I get all those burnt sienna and raw sienna and ochres. I get them all confused. I don't know why I find them so confusing. I think their names are similar. Too similar for me to... So it'll be interesting to see what it's like to, you know, do a whole different system here. See if I like it better or worse. Of course, you can never know if you like something more or less in, in one try. So I was watching. Um, I couldn't get online to do work. This I have my office at my house now, and I was going in to work on something and couldn't get in, so I was watching, of course, a painting video. Oh, Maggie, I use an app. It's called Grid Hashtag. And the person that was doing the clouds and doing it this way um, was actually um, had traced what he wanted underneath, but I didn't do it that way. Oh, actually, I think I even have Q-tips here to do this. I've always wanted to try it this way. So I thought, you know, with this time off, I'd have more time to paint, but that hasn't happened yet. I'm still hoping for it. So did you guys do my um, watercolor thing with me on Sunday? Did everybody like it? Should I try to do it something else again? I enjoyed it. I, I found that when I'm doing, when I'm painting, I think I do everything too fast. So I'm just marking, I'm looking for where my light areas are and I'm pulling away the paint. Coffee and Valium, this AM because I'm stressed. Oh good, oh, well, I hope I'm helping you feel less stressed. Oh my gosh. Um, 
Yeah, it is a stressful time. And I internalize my stress a lot. Like I don't, sometimes I don't even know I'm feeling stress until I realize how, how uptight I feel. But I still am kind of knee deep in real life. So it, it all seems pretend to me somehow, this whole thing going on. <clears throat> Allie, you like them? Sorry, I missed it. Please do again on Sundays. Do you have the grid drawn? Yes. All I have, can you see it? Let me see. Underneath there, I just have, do you see the grid drawn on? You can see the pencil marks in there a little bit. So that's what I'm following. I'm looking for my lighter lights in this um, area just to kind of remind myself of where they are. And it's not, not a lot. I guess I could, it's really thinking about values. But a lot of it's pushed back. Um, doesn't look like a lot of light lights. The name of the app for the grid um, is grid hashtag, it's called. Here, I'll show you on here. This is, see this little icon? Oops. Yeah, oh, that doesn't help you. So let me go back. It's this grid hashtag. That's what you search for in your app store. Yeah, so I'm trying to uh, appreciate things like going for walks in the afternoon, getting up from working and um, I kind of like working in my pajamas. <laughs> Sometimes I paint my pajamas too. It's when I'm most relaxed. Well, so there that is. That didn't take very long. Um, hmm. So now do you think I should do, I'm going to do a little bit of my, my um, RNF pigment sticks and go in and maybe do some darker areas with that. Yeah, so bear with me because this isn't the way I normally do things, but it's always good to try something new. Always. So I'm always looking for the little silver linings through all of this instead of getting too overly stressed. Sandy, you're in your PJs. Lucky you. Hmm. And then I'm just looking for if I have any other like dark, dark areas that I want to put some of this color into. I really kind of like the feel of that, isn't it? It's very um, expressive and watercolor-ish looking. Oh, that, Lisa, that stick, let me see if I can tell. Qu Quinacridone magenta. Look, I should really write it down before I can't read it anymore. And he chirp with the burnt sienna. I just used my, what I usually use, it's um, Zest It. It's called Zest It, clear painting medium. I don't even, I don't even know if I have turpentine. I don't ever like the smell of it. So I probably don't even have any in my house. When I was a kid, I did take painting <clears throat> um, lessons from a lady in my town. And I hated it. I absolutely hated it because we were supposed to be quiet all the time. Not that I'm a noisy person, but I don't like so much quiet. And I hated the smell of the turpentine. <clears throat> and so it was many, many years till I started doing it again. I mean, I don't, I don't really think that, that just that had anything to do with it. I think I just, um, you know, things happen when they're meant to. I'm just putting a little bit of that in for fun. It is almost Asian looking. I was thinking the same time, same thing. Day PJs versus nighttime PJs. Sandy, I love that idea. 
So you just wear your day, day PJs. Because if nobody's seeing you, like this morning, I actually got up and put a little mascara on, which I haven't been doing. Let's do a little bit of this because I love it. I got a call. I think it was a robo call. Okay. Well, that's completely different. Let me start to mix some colors now and see how it looks. All right, here's my palette. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm liking this nine o'clock time. I don't feel stressed right now. Like if whatever happens is fine, I don't have to feel like I need to be to work all of a sudden because I already started my day. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, those were oil sticks that I was using. RNF pigment sticks. They're my fave. Really, really nice consistency. They're creamy. So if we do something on Sunday, what do you want to do? Like watercolors? We do another abstract. So many fun possibilities. Oh, I want to do a light, light pink here. I have this one pink color that I love. And I don't know what I did with it. <clears throat> Let me look here. I don't have as many paints laying around other than in my way um, well I'm not going to waste my time looking for it I have no idea where I put it oh well don't need it that much right always good to watercolor please okay I love doing watercolor um okay so the this dark thing about this dark color in here that's there's some real vibrant pinks in there, but then that's kind of a, a burnt a magenta kind of color. Oh, a landscape with watercolors would be fun. I could kind of make a list. Yeah, I need to work on my online course. That's like next up for me to work on. I wish I had it finished already, but you know, now I can't. <clears throat> Go to my friend's house to work on it. Everything happens as it's meant to, right? I think this pause is, is going to be an okay thing for, for me to learn to slow down a little bit. It's not a bad lesson for me because I go a million miles an hour and it's not the best to live that way. And I never know which thing I need to cut out to make my life simpler, but this might force me to figure that out. I just hope it's not art, right? All right, so those are already pretty. Good morning, Kim. Yeah, watercolor's fun. I was watching a thing last night from Windsor Newton. They were like, they have those little master classes. Do you guys get those emails? Oh, I still want that pink color. Let me look another minute. Just one more minute. Let me look at my, I'll bring over my red bucket and you can look through it with me. Here's my bucket of reds. <clears throat> Instead of you hearing me root around, you can watch me root around for it. <clears throat> I had moved my studio to do something last week. I can't even remember what. And now everything's not, not in its place where it belongs. I'm not a person who keeps anything where it belongs, but I do ish. No, I can't find it. Oh, well. That's why I have like three of each color. If I lose them. But it was a, um, a Vasari color that was a really soft pink. Oh, well. I'm sorry. So does anybody have any questions? Oh, could you tell us what colors you are starting with and what you're adding? I'm a newbie. Sure. Oh, thanks, Ellen. Yeah, this is a piece of glass, and I have I just have a board underneath that I painted gray. You're supposed to do it over like a neutral gray color. So it's just a, this is actually just a like a ampersand gesso board with painted gray. I could use a bigger when I paint large. This isn't big enough. Okay, so this is mostly permanent rose and magenta, and I mixed a little bit of um, Indian yellow in there to kind of make it glow. Thank 
Thank you. I love color palette. Okay, now I need a vibrant pink. So permanent rose is one of my favorite, like really vibrant reds. Um, you know what, maybe I'll do this. I don't want to mix directly, mix white in with it yet, because when you mix, this is um, radiant magenta. <clears throat> when you mix white in with reds, it gets a little chalky sometimes. So I like to mix a, a lighter red in with it. So this radiant magenta I'll mix in. With the, I'm gonna move this over here so I have room for some greens over there. And that's really nice. And here's more, and then even some. Even yesterday I did my yoga class online with my friend Kristen. That was nice to have that normal, normalcy. Okay. That's good. Good morning, Shelly. How are you? Shelly's in one of my groups. So I have these groups that I'm doing, like, you know, I'm doing the <clears throat> Emily Jeffords course. And I have a group with the people who signed, artists who signed up to take the course with me just to kind of help each other through. And then I have another peer group within that. And so I'm trying to navigate all of that too. It's fun. It's fun. I love meeting other artists. So um, I need where, where the flowers turn a little bit like this. I see a little blues in there. So I'm going to take some of my pinks here and I'm just going to add a little bit of um, blue into it. And it is this King's blue. I've been loving this Rembrandt Royal blue King's blue. I don't know what it's called. It says blue. Oh yeah, it is King's blue. It's a great, a great color to like, um, I guess it really, it cools down the color. So see how that changed it from being so vibrant to being a little more muted. And like when the, when the petal is out of the light, like this is a great, I should have mixed more of this. I'll do it with a pile of this. great. Maybe that needs to be a little bit more pink. I'm going to get up more of this. <clears throat> and Allie, you're in New York, right? So you really are totally homebound, are you? Because I think there's a, there are a lot, of course, there's a lot of people in New York. There's going to be more cases in New York, but that's super scary too. Yeah, Karen, I love the King's Blue, right? Karen was at my my course that I did. I'm so glad we got to do my my uh, in person workshop before all this craziness started. So so glad. And Allie's been doing a lot of really fun windows um, in New York, but <clears throat> now that's all gonna have to wait for a while. Hopefully not too long. Hopefully we're ahead of the curve with this and it'll, uh, hmm. Let me think here. What else do I want to do? I'm going to add a little white too to this. Oops, <laughs> making a mess. I must say, I do feel a little distracted. Yes, I'm glad the workshop was before the pandemic. Me too. Little did we know to appreciate the calm that we had that weekend. I mean, I think I appreciated it anyway. I'm, I'm, in fact, I'm sure I did, but you know what I mean. It was wonderful. I think that's that's a good amount of colors to start with. I think so. I think I need a darker green though. I'm gonna take some of this and add some um, 
yeah. That's good. Okay, let's go up here and see what we have. This is oil paint. And I'm doing it a little bit differently than what I normally do. I usually do a wash underneath of transparent colors, but I do it kind of in the colors that are there. And this time I'm trying with the burnt sienna. Is that what it is? I don't know if I don't keep forgetting what that was called. These colors confuse me. Was it? Yes, it was burnt sienna. I'm sure it was. So what's everybody having, coffee or tea this morning? I've been up for a long time, still drinking my coffee. I didn't have any um, breakfast yet. I just didn't get to it. <clears throat> yeah, I like that wash too, Allie. It is pretty. So I guess I'm going to put in, what am I going to do? I don't even know where I want to start. So I think I'll start the way I normally do and put in some of my darker darks. And go from there. I'm going to try to use my big brush most of the time. And I have some really dark dark darks up here um put them in there and if you have really dark areas and you have bright areas next to them it makes the colors really really pop coffee just ordered more amazon's been amazing oh that's good Allie. i'm lucky because i get my coffee from my friends they have their own coffee they make their own coffee beans and i just got a personal delivery yesterday of coffee so I'm good now for a while and yeah I love it but you know no hugs no nothing just a quick drop off quick hello and I didn't get to so weird so weird to see people and not really get to talk to them I mean talk to them hug them <laughs> hug them kiss them no more of that wonder how long it'll be until we get back to normal with all of that. Okay, I'm, I have to think where things are here. So this is a little dip. This comes out a little bit. Um, yeah, no hugging. Not for a while. And now this is so weird because in here you see the now when I look through the 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 monitor I can actually see better what I'm looking at than I do looking at the picture so there's dark in here that I'm going to add in and then there's actually pink flowers that you're seeing in the distance from from the tree Oh, Anita, that's nice to be able to do FaceTime, isn't it? It's better than nothing. But it is different than being together. But at least we have it. Imagine if this all happened years ago when, when we didn't have the Internet to be able to at least stay connected and do things like this that feel normal. That's pretty. I know, thank goodness for FaceTime and Zoom and <clears throat> and just the internet to be able to stay connected with, with each other. Hmm. Lots of FaceTime. Okay, I 
wish I had more of that color. I, that was that color that I mixed that was the pink with a little bit of the blue in it. That's really pretty, isn't it? Oh, I like that. So I'm trying to really take my time and do intentional brush strokes, not fuss with them. Like when I see a color to put that mark down and leave it. Like that. I've been doing FaceTime too, and we'll do it with my Art Society group today while we paint. Oh, that's so nice to paint together. Love that. Yeah, I guess we'll learn new ways of doing things through all of this. In some ways, become more connected, right? Thankful for you being on the forefront of painting online. Oh, I know. I'm so lucky to get to do this. And it's nice, yeah, that this was kind of all set up. And, and um, you know, hopefully, well, if, uh, hopefully this doesn't last too long, but as it, if it does, you know, we can just do this more. I think it is, it's calming to me, I'll tell you that. Painting is calming, but so is doing things that are normal. It's very comforting. <clears throat> Here's blue. You could do a class on Zoom. <clears throat> do you think you'd be able to see better if I did it on Zoom? <coughs> My daughter and I cook together on FaceTime. Oh, that's a great idea, Eve. I love that. <clears throat> hmm. And that's really fun. Love your work. So excited to see you live. Oh, good. I'm glad you're here. Liam's mom. It's, um, yeah, I'm sure this is easier for a lot of people who are on the West Coast. It's not quite as early as when I do this at seven in the morning. And the only reason I do it at such a crazy time is because I go to work then. And now I'm working from home so I can make my schedule work with my life it's definitely a silver lining oh, and I need a little bit more pink over here she says me too thanks for this good I'm glad you like it hi Sadie how are you oh Deborah's neighbor fun <clears throat> okay what else am I looking for here? I think I need, oh, some of this vibrant kind of red. Yes, that's what I was needing in there. Look good. App is grid. G hashtag grid. I think it's G R I D hashtag. Okay. Have to put some muted color back here. I guess that's a little more muted green. I think. And do I want to let some of this? This color in the background show through. I might think that that would be fun, right? And then I'll let, I kind of like how this looks in here. 
Now, one of the hard parts is that I'm kind of waiting to put in where the really light areas are. That's what's going to bring it all together. Patience is, I always say, that's one of the things I learned most from painting. Something I don't have much of. <clears throat> but painting teaches me to be patient. Whoops, got pink in there. That's pretty. What other kinds of things are you guys doing? Um, like to try to keep your spirits up, to um, make life feel normal. Do you have any ideas of things that could share. <clears throat> Painting is really it for me, for my calm thing to feel good. <clears throat> it's very different looking, isn't it, for me, this painting. I'm going to do a little... I like this kind of minty looking green is really pretty. Put some darks up here. <clears throat> oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed notes here. Hello. Just in time not <laughs> and we had, you're fine i've still got a whole nother half hour to go here do you have summertime already yeah it's just starting it's just starting to get warm here all like daffodils are up lots of of uh, things are are um popping up which is wonderful henriette where are you from Kristen troop oh walking your dog i saw you walking your dog online yesterday my first oh good out that's great working on your first collection that it is a nice time to be able to focus on you know working on your art now that's my goal I have a great big white canvas behind me that I'm itching to dive into when I get a chance I will be Yeah, so I don't, this is very different from how I normally paint, so I really have to think about what I'm doing. I want to add a little bit of dark right here. Wait, um, and right here. Let me get this top part finished so that I, my eye stops popping over there to think about it. Okay, I think that, I like the mood of that. I like some of the background color popping through. I think that's what I'm intrigued with in trying this. Oh, I'm missing more notes. Lots of fitness inside and my yard. Carrot, love your work. I'm trying to learn to paint with loose strokes. Me too. I'm still learning. Exercising, cooking, watching movies as a family. That's nice. I've watched more TV in the last couple of weeks than I've watched in the last decade. Um, that minty green, isn't that pretty bee? Um, how did I make that? Hmm. Ooh, I think I made that green with playing with this Vasari color that I got. This Rousseau green extra pale with, which is a little bit yellowish. And I probably mixed in, and it's, it takes a long time to remember colors. I probably mixed in some of this color that I love, this Rembrandt transparent yellow green. And to make it fall to that color, I probably used a little bit of this King's Blue in it. I think so. 
Shelly says, just working on my making art work course and painting when I'm not working. Yes, I'm trying to do that too. Lived near a river and went and looked for beach glass. Oh, that's nice. Who was the artist inspired you to try this technique? Oh, I was watching, mm, gosh, I think his name is Lane, L-A-Y-N-E. Is it Johnson? Does anybody else know? He, I, I ordered one of his classes uh, online classes on painting clouds because I want to try some cloud paintings. Um, I think his name's Lane. I can try to remember to add that when I post this. If I forget, let me know and I'll let you know. <clears throat> and this is how he started his cloud painting. Oh, me too with dishes. Holland own. Oh. Oh, Henriette, you're in Holland. Wow. Is it what is it cold there right now? Oh, nice. We just got more snow last night. Oh, I hope we don't get more snow. It looks beautiful. I kind of like the Sienna undertone. I do too. I like it peeking through, I think. Hi from Calgary. Wow. I follow him on Instagram. Yes, is that his name, Lane Johnson? Yes, that's it, Kim. Oh, good. Thanks, guys, for helping me. In the 80s today. Oh, my gosh, that's wonderful seen his cloud session on YouTube. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. That's what I was doing. I couldn't get online to look at my work stuff. And that's what I was watching this morning. And that's when I decided to try this underpainting color. And so far, it's really fun. Um, I can soon put light lights in there, I think. Maybe not yet. This has some, yeah. Yeah, I need, like you can see in here where it's dark and those things are kind of popping off of there. I need to add that in. Harder than it looks. <laughs> I hope I make it look easy. Yeah, most things are, aren't they? Harder than they look. I'd say that even more with my real job of graphic design. I always think that it looks easy to do, but it is not easy. I don't think it's easy. And I've been doing it forever. Now I'm kind of dancing around here not knowing what I'm doing. This goes to the back. Okay, I could... Hong Kong, 25 degrees centigrade. Is that cold in Hong Kong? Do you have summertime and wintertime? Here, oh, in Pennsylvania, yes. Very extreme summer and winter. Our degrees go from zero to 100 here. And I like anything over 70 the most. <laughs> I love warm weather. Okay. Should I put in some light lights to see where we're at? Or do you see some more? Um, I think I need to put this in here. To think about where my shadow areas are. That's what I'm trying to think about. And it is a little different because the way I normally paint, I don't have to think so much about it. But this is different, so I'm thinking more. It's always good to try new things. All right, that pushed that back. Oh, Sam, are you? That, so I still do that. I still do graphic design as my real job. You turn the clock forward in summertime. Yes, Henriette. I have no idea why we do that. I think we always did it for the farmers, but I don't think they care anymore. So, But we still do that. We turn the clocks. 
We just did it like two weeks ago, I guess. Or one. I get time. Time is getting a little elusive to me. I don't know which week is which. Hi, honey. What you doing? Nice. I'm tired. You're tired. Tired from sleeping so much. Yeah. Isabella came down to say hi. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. I think I can put some light lights in. Don't you think so? Yeah, I like the really soft, romantic feel of it. I know, I watch your videos every week. You're a busy lady. I am a little too busy. Yeah, I need to find a little more balance in life. It'll, it'll come when it's time, right? All right, I'm going to put some, some lights in here because I'm itching to do it. Oops, I got a little, little wonky there. And I'm cleaning my brush off all the time. Yes, Izzy did a great job. It was it was a little um, different for me to do it that way. With her filming, I couldn't see what anyone was saying to me. Now, um, you know what? I'm going to switch to a smaller brush for this. I feel like I was getting... That's getting clunky. Definitely that was getting clunky. I don't know if my... Brush bristles were just a mess or what? Probably. So yeah, one of my, I think as artists, we're probably all like this, but I get, I want to do everything. Like I love all the different kinds of painting. I'm, I love to, I love all of it. So sometimes it's hard to focus and just work on one kind of art. You know, I love to do watercolors. I want to play more with abstracts. I like to paint large. I like to paint small. You guys feel the same way. It's kind of hard to focus sometimes. And now it's like I feel like I have free time to try new things, but... I have, it hasn't really happened yet. I have to figure out what I want to do back in that area. Me too. I'd love to try it all. Yes. I meant not to say me too. No? Uh, <laughs> yes. That's me. I just love to create. Yes. And that's why my YouTube is called The Creative Glow. Oh, Sam, remind me of that. Message me. I'll have to look you up then. Yeah, I would love to do one of those like membership sites and have it just be making all different kinds of things. Not just oil painting, even though it, right now it's my favorite thing. It's all my favorite thing. <laughs> okay, more pink down here. What do you think? Adrienne says, very nice to discover all of it. It is. It's really fun to, um, well, the friend part of it is my favorite, making all these new art friends. Because I don't really have a lot here where I live because, you know, I've been, had my business for so many years. I spend so much time doing that that I don't, like, get out to do things with art friends. Like I, I used to do life drawing classes on Wednesday evenings, and I really, really enjoyed it, but I've been tired, too tired to do that lately. Like after a long day's work to be away and painting until 9 or 10 o'clock at night just makes me tired. That. I have to think about having some hard edges, too. I do like that color showing through. 
<laughs> Shell says, yeah, me too. I wish I had the room for it all. I don't really either have room for all my art stuff. And it does drive my husband crazy because he's super tidy and I don't even understand how to be. blue on my palette okay what else do I need to do I need to think about this so differently I like how expressive it looks um, it's just very different looks great right now thank you so this needs to push back a little bit right here and this actually that, I guess. That helped. And that stays dark in there. I'm going back in and looking for my really, really dark areas that I want to keep pushed back. Okay. <clears throat> I think I'm avoiding these little center areas. I need to put some of them in, and then I think I'll... What time is it? 9.47. Oops, sorry. My stomach's growling. I should have eaten. It is really... I like this. I like the feel of it. Um, am I only missing the detail, or do I need... Oh, wait. Let me see here. On this... Um, let me see. This needs, I think, more of this color. All right to do some detail work all right I need a dark right in here it's so fat fun for a dreary day it is Anita right I've seen this saying online it says creative people aren't messy they just have ideas lying around yes yes that's true yeah my friend read something to me one day I might have already said it if I can remember what it is it's like you know, some people think in a straight line and, and I think um, like the thoughts are just bouncing around like bees in my head. Like there's way too many. You can't even begin to figure out which one to listen to. That is my problem. So I like that little bit of green down there. I need a little here. I need a little bit of this down here, I think. To pull that top color in with what's below. I like the texture. Okay, so now I'm going to play with a little bit of... Um, no, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Let me think what I'm doing here. I think I need... So I just want to suggest, like, the texture of all this going on without being too literal. Just a suggestion. And this is such a bright pink in here. I need that. I have lots of ideas lying around. I do too, Dee. I've been loving your birds. Love, love, love. Are you still thinking about doing an online course for kids? That's a great fun thing to do right now because kids need things to do. <clears throat> Hopefully school, they'll start to figure out how to make school happen remotely. I know that's a tricky thing, but... 
What do you think? Um, do you have different brushes for each color? No, I just cleaned my brush off. I have a paper towel here and I clean it off. I've only used two brushes so far, this one and this one. That's it. <clears throat> not that you couldn't do that. That's not a bad idea. I just don't because I'm, I don't have time to clean all my brushes. I would never, if I ended up with a big pile of brushes, like after I do a workshop, it takes me forever to get them all clean. I'm not good at uh, doing that cleaning stuff. I'm not a good cleaner. All right. Oh, okay. So now I need to do like my little some dots of this. Oh, that detail is nice, isn't it? And I like letting some of that underneath color show through. Like when I do my other painting, my the way I normally paint, I kind of feel like I need to cover everything. And I like the look of it. Um, my hands love it already love this technique I do too Sandy it's it's fun isn't it so if you guys want to try something like this today share it under that I'm gonna try and keep that hashtag going Kim Smith friends that way I'll see if you um, create something oh I see what I need to do right here Oops, that went a little too light. I wanted to add in these really light lights and I might be done. That looks good. See any places that I missed? <clears throat> that would do great cost to be in the video. I see you guys are doing that. We'll have to try that another time. I tried that on Sunday, having people come in and say hello in the video. And I love that, but um, my internet kicked. It wasn't working right then. And then I couldn't save the video and post it because we all got logged out. We'll figure that out. I don't know if it's my internet here. What do you think? Am I finished? I think I need to soften this. Oh, it looks pretty. I like it. It's very different, but I feel like it's like soft and romantic. I'm gonna sign my name. I'll show it to you up close. That's how I did it. It's just a different technique. It might be fun, actually. to try it another time and do it in the technique that I usually use to see um, see if it turns out different. I'm sure it would. So anyway, guys, thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. Let me, oh, did I miss some notes here? Um, beautiful work, oh, gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. This, this looks so crazy. Oh, it's crazy how changing one thing in your process makes a painting look so different. I know. Isn't that crazy? I agree. Wish I could paint. Maggie, you can paint loose. Just practice. Takes lots of practice. Looks beautiful. Oh, I missed all these comments. I always have to remember to scroll up. Um, so you're, you're really good. Greetings from Germany. Hi to Germany. Thanks, Dee. Well, thanks, you guys. I'm so glad you came and hung out with me to get with me. Kristen, Bill says, hi, hi, Bill. Shelly, talk to you soon. Okay, 
Thanks for coming, guys. I'll do it again soon. I'll keep you posted on Instagram. I'll post this up as usual. You know the drill. I'll put it on um, my website and on um, YouTube. And, um, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Goodbye. Have a great day. Stay well, please.